everybody, how's it going? It's Tyson and Sean. How's it going today, Sean? Not too bad? Did you enjoy your Thanksgiving? It was okay. It was okay? I enjoyed my Thanksgiving. I dried great. What did you have for dinner? Turkey? Mashed potatoes? Cabbage rolls? Pierogies? You guys didn't have cabbage rolls? No. And sisters. He had sisters over. So Sean was uh, had the weekend off. And uh, we're back at her today. It rained. Um, it rained quite what quite good. It was over half an inch the day before yesterday, right, Sean? Or do you? Yeah. It was actually the day we were combining here that night. It rained. So uh, we got a little tiny shower. I think it was yesterday morning. And. Uh, wasn't too bad because it was windy, very windy. And it didn't, it blew a little bit of the swaths over a little bit, it kind of ruffled them a bit, but didn't do too much damage. But the wind uh, is what dried dried it back out. Uh, there's just, for the next week, it's there's a chance of snow. Well, they actually have heavy snowfall warnings for the town two hours from here. Uh, all towards the mountains that's they're all heavy snowfall warning so uh, the weather doesn't look good for tomorrow we're supposed to be getting a chance of snow uh, so we're just taking it off we have just this much left on this field and then we're heading to that field over there across the road and that's it for our canola so we're just taking this off it's testing 13 dry for canola is 10 even so we're taking this off at 13 it's probably it was probably tougher by the tree line but uh we're all going here and it's just gonna go straight into the dryer and uh, i'll be drying it as soon as i get enough to throw in the dryer there and then we'll probably try on the other side there give her a go because there's just no time left right chuck no, after Canadian Thanksgiving, it's uh, it's you you just gotta rely on luck to have some warm weather. Uh, I'm not saying it wouldn't be warm yet, but it's cold. Today is cold. It's we're on, we're freezing every night. Like there's some good good freezes coming up here. Like my six. put on working great uh, the straw is a little bit tough it's not dry that's for sure so the calm mines are going quite a bit slower than they usually do oh, my brother Lori's clipping along pretty good though not bad and dad is unloading and that's gonna go straight in the dryer so I better go catch up to him before he spills it over the side or something. <laughs> Okay, well, this is actually a continuation video. Uh, I had taken some footage when we were out combining, and uh, I was actually drying at the same time. That actually didn't work out too good. 
had a problem with the dryer and I wasn't here to spot it because I was hauling canola and uh, basically what happened was the little the little door you can see it right there on that side is the clean out door and what happened that little latch vibrated loose and uh, it didn't open all the way but it just enough like a half an inch and the canola came out onto the ground and it buried, buried the belt and uh, what happened was the it was uh because canola is an oil seed and it was uh uh how do you say crushing up the canola on the pulleys and it was making them all oily and it made them slip and then it stopped turning and it burnt the belt right off my brand new belt laying right there now if i was here i probably would have caught it but we were trying to dry and combine at the same time and uh kind of my own fault because that happened once before with that little door and i should have had it wired up but uh yeah well it is what it is so i ordered two new belts because it also when that big belt stops turning from there it actually burnt this one off too because this one runs the stir arm that has the shaft right here and it goes into a gearbox inside there and it stirs stirs it while it's uh augering out so when it stopped augering it uh it got packed in there that the the stir arm couldn't move anymore so it uh, starts slipping the belt and burnt that one off too i think i was gone for about ooh, it was cooling already it was it was dried so i think i was gone for at least not about a half hour maybe usually it's okay when it's cooling you don't have to worry about the flame or anything but yeah it would have all been good if I would have wired that door shut, but like I said, it is what it is. So I got my brand new belt here. I have to take this pillow block off, slide the belt underneath, and the same thing for the big sea width belt. Goes around here, twists, goes on these Eiler pulleys, and all the way around there and back again. The bad thing is, is this thing is full of canola, right full. And to get that belt on last time, you have to be able to move that pulley to get that belt to snap on. Now, I don't think that pulley is going to be too easy to move, move right now because it's right full. But give it a try because I don't want to dump this thing. Because the only way you can dump it is to open that little clean out door and vacuum it right out. I hope I don't have to do that. I'm going to try. Like it's a tight fitting belt. There's a spring loaded tightener right there. This one is adjusted all the way up already uh yeah that's um i might flip this pillow block down i don't know if that'll have any effect on lowering the shaft any but i'll see i'm gonna try it if i can get it on here maybe i'll put a pipe wrench on here and get it to turn so we'll see i just don't want to unload it if it comes to unloading it it comes to unloading it so let's see if we can get it on there okay so uh where I left off yesterday, I was uh, changing the belts on there. I, I got them on. It's pretty hard, but I got them on. one will be dry in about 10 minutes and I'll be unloading that one too and I have this lighter full uh, I'm kind of running out of room so we have I think two bins left and still a little bit to combine uh, thankfully the snow melted some places got quite a bit of snow uh, enough to snowmobile in some spots so, 
we don't have much more to combine so just be drying this stuff until it gets dry enough to combine and we'll be done so yeah that's what i'm doing today and uh sean just went to check cows to see if they need any feed and uh, that's what we're going to be doing for most of the day anyway thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and uh, click like for the videos and uh, we'll see you all later soon again sometime all right thanks for watching